GeneratorPowerSource.com here for a review of the Westinghouse iGen 2500. It's a slightly larger unit than the iGen 2200 that we just tested, but we wanted to pick this up to see if this unit would power a 15,000 BTU air conditioner or if it needs to be paralleled in order to, to, to run that. So because it's a larger unit, we experienced uh, louder uh, decibel readings when we just ran this, as you're seeing now, I'll splice this in. We just tested this unit uh, under eco mode as well as under a low. Uh, and it was about two to three decibels louder than the iGen 2200 at 20 feet, but still relatively quiet. At 20 feet, uh, we were reading 61 decibels under eco mode and under a load, um, 70 decibels. So slightly louder than the iGen 2200 and the iGen 2000. And we did experience a voltage drop to 94 uh, volts and then back up to 120 as soon as we applied that load. Uh, as you'll see on the front of this unit, this is what makes this unit this different compared to the 2200 or the 2000. And that's that you have the LED display here. I'll turn it on a second so you can see that LED display. Off, run, and choke, on and off switch. Uh, 220 volt receptacles right here. And again, you'll see that it is paired parallel capable. Uh, we will test that and uh, with these newer models you're getting the covers for the receptacles. Over on this side you'll see the receptacle for a USB so you have two USB outlets on board. Uh, the on and off switch for the efficiency mode here um, and then a breaker reset and uh, let me go ahead and fire this up so that you can see that LED display. You gotta let it cycle through. So as I was mentioning, you'll see that LED display on the front, 120 volts that we're outputting. It also gives you run time, um, and so you know how much fuel you have left based on your current load. That will fluctuate based, based on your load. So this is the biggest difference on the 2500 as opposed to the 22 or the iGen 2000. Uh, as you see, it was, a, it was a one start out of the box. This was a really, really easy unit to set up. As you're seeing now, all I had to do was remove the back panel, add the uh, pre-measured oil that Westinghouse provides. So you add the oil, add the fuel, and uh, we, we had a one pull start. So uh, really impressive for Westinghouse to, to run as well as they do. They test all their units before they ship them out. Um, again, because this is a larger unit, it is uh, slightly heavier. This is two pounds heavier at 48 pounds, as opposed to 46 pounds for the iGen 22. 200 and the 2000. So a little bit heavier, but you are getting that uh, additional output. So in addition to being two pounds heavier, this is slightly more expensive as well. This unit runs about 699 MSRP. So it's a little bit more expensive than the iGen 2000 or the 2200. As I mentioned, we're going to see if this unit will power a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We're also going to parallel it with, uh, with the other units that we have here to see what will actually power a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, because that's what a lot of people are interested in. Thanks for watching guys give us a thumbs up subscribe and we will be back with that parallel video next time